Today we will be making a French nougatine, the most French dessert in the entire French world. The first step to making nougatine is making a pistachio brittle. Four ounces of pistachios. We're going to put those in the oven at 350 to get those oils out of the pistachios for 10 minutes. After those are extracted, we're going to let them cool. Step two in making a brittle, we have to get our syrup made. All that is is a sugar and water solution. We're going to heat it up, get it to where it's amber, and then take it off the heat. And we're going to pour that over our roasted pistachios. That's going to be our brittle. Why is this one? Um, I like it to do the off heat so you can just go back and forth, control the heat method. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this other burner on too, though. Now it is time to get saucy. I love to get saucy. So the first thing we want to do is we take half a cup of sugar and we're going to put it in our food processor. We have all these raspberries right here. Can you see those? We're going to put these in here. You just kind of, you know, whip just like that. Okay, it's, if it's overflow, we put the little back and we stain my paws. Why did I do that? It's okay. I got these on Amazon. I can buy more. Back home, we call this the mother-in-law, and we just want to zest this lemon a little bit. Okay, just get the zest in there, like that. We run this off camera so it's not loud in your ear, and then we will be back here in a moment. Now that we have this parade, we have to put the pureed liquid into a little bit of strainer, we're going to divide it, we're gonna use the spoon to try and push it through the bottom there. <laughs> Alright, so the pistachios are done out of the oven, they're cooling right now, and uh, we're just bringing our syrup up until it's an amber color no darker than that. So we're gonna place it evenly over our pistachios. We're gonna let that sit and let it cool. And we're gonna break it up and throw that in our cream. Okay, this time on taking whisks, we're going to try something different. Instead of taking cues, we're going to be calling you, the fans, and asking you some would you rather questions. Who are we calling? Olivia Sutton. Sutton. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, Dobby Wan Kenobi. How are you today? <laughs> hold on a second. Yes, put this on hold. You are live on Taking whisks on a special would you rather segment. Oh boy. Are you ready to play? <laughs> you know what? I was born ready. Alright, your first question. Would you rather fart loudly anytime you have a serious conversation or burp after every kiss? Uh, we are having technical difficulties. Adobe? Yeah, what was your answer? <laughs> I kiss after every burp. You'd kiss after every burp. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the option, but that might be better. Good to know. <laughs> you kiss after every burp. <laughs> Does Mary, your wife, like <laughs> to kiss you after your burp? All the time. It's a... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, well, whatever works for you. Uh, thanks for playing today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I look forward to uh, hearing the rest of the uh, contestant banters. Yeah, well, we will call you again sometime. Tell the wife to have the best kiss burps. <laughs> Bye-bye. 
Bye-bye. <laughs> You've reached Jagger Geeks. Please leave your name and phone. Hello? Hello, Dylan. You are on the set of Taking Visks. I have a would you rather question for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> the question is, for one whole year, would you have to sneeze but not be able to... <laughs> <laughs> I take the first one. <laughs> or. Uh, but I take the first one. I want the first one. Or, or have something uh, stuck in your eye for an entire year. The first one. The first one. Thank you for the calling. Uh. <laughs> I'll call my granny. Granny, no answer. <laughs> she doesn't love you, bro. She's around the naked crew. Hi, this is Dee. I can't come to the phone right now. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for calling Taking Whisks. We have a would you rather question for you. Okay. The question is, would you rather use sandpaper as toilet paper or use hot sauce for eye drops? Sandpaper. For an entire year? Okay, thank you for calling <laughs> Taking Whisks. <laughs> hello, is anyone there? What's up, man? Oh, hello, Taneo Slobam. How are you today? Hello. You are live on Taking Whisks for a special Would You Rather segment. Do you have a moment to answer a few questions? Uh, um, am I getting paid? Uh, we will discuss that off air. No, I... I no. <laughs> <laughs> we do not have any money. Okay. Are you, make, are you making a cool song? We're making a poo poo platel. A what? A poo poo platel. What is that? A poo poo a platel. <laughs> okay. Stay with me. Would you rather eat poop that tastes like chocolate or eat chocolate that tastes like a poop? I'm asking is you. Is this, is this a serious question? I think I would rather eat something that tastes like chocolate than actually taste, taste the poop. That's so we have on uh, work out that you want to eat the poop? No, 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 you don't have that. I, I, I didn't want to answer the question, but I feel like you were <laughs> We have. Okay, let me write this down. I uh, no, need a no, pin. No, don't, don't, don't uh, Turn it out. Uh, Turn it out. I don't give you consent. July 6th. Uh, no, July 6th. No, July 6th, a 2019th year of the poop. Eat the poop. Tanel Slow Bomb. Why do you have a fixation on poop? Tanel Slow Bomb wants to eat <laughs> poop. No. That'll, you do not. No. Record it. No, that's not what I want. Thank you for your time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you for your time today, sir. We have it on record. <laughs> All right, now we have to separate the yolks from the whites. And what we are going to do is keep these whites after I separate them from the yolks, and we are going to add just a pinch of salt. And then I'm going to fold this until it becomes stiff, and it will form our base for our French nougatine. Now we have our whites right here. I'm going to take just a pinch of salt right here. Put it in there, salt over here, shout out. Now I'm going to stir this up until it is stiff and begin to fold and then where we combine with what Carmel is mixing up back behind me, okay? To go along with our egg whites, we're going to start with the base with heavy cream. The French like their cream. Mix in our sugar. This is just cream, very bland. To sweeten it up into the cream, we're going to add our vanilla and almond extract. Give it that flavor. 
Also change the color a bit. And then the rest of our sugar. Then we're gonna fold in our egg whites. All right, so the next step after we get this folded in, we're gonna chop up our pistachio brittle that we've already made, and it's gonna go in here. And that's the base for our nougatine. It's gonna be it. We're gonna put this in a loaf pan that we've lined with plastic wrap. And then we're gonna let that freeze overnight. So it's gonna be like a, kind of like a ice cream custard. So we took our nougatine out of the freezer and uh, we're ready to invert it onto a cutting board so we can slice it up. What do you think? This is going to be good, I can tell. How does it smell? I can eat your ash in the nougatine. <laughs> Smells like cigarette. All right, so you want a sharp knife to go right into this loaf. And you can really cut it however thick you want. Um, depends on how hungry you are, how much dessert you want. Okay, we are going to plate this up now. We have our sauce that we made yesterday. It has been in the refrigerator. Okay, now our French nougatine is done. We have it plated up. We'll take one puff. And now we are going to try this, okay? We have our plates here. The tasting is always the best. A little bit of the sauce. Definitely not Italian. This is not Italian. This is very French. Ask your mother. Inside our pistachio brittle is very crunchy. It tastes good. You want, you want to sign us off? Give me a moment. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Taking Whisks. Ciao.